Hey, Steelers Nation, it's Joe Rocky here with the Pittsburgh Syndicate. The big story that came out of Latrobe on Friday was that Deontay Johnson left the field in a cart. Now, for those people that didn't see it or haven't seen any pictures of it, there's a giant difference between Deontay leaving and the way Burrow left earlier in the week. That difference is this. Deontay left in the front of the cart and was basically able to still move. Burrow was relegated to the back and couldn't put any pressure on his leg at all. So that's a major difference between the two. One of the reporting things to make sure everyone is aware of during training camp all the way until week one begins and the regular season is upon us, the coaches are not required to give accurate medical reports. They flat out are allowed to say whatever they want. Um, it's part of the PR and spin control that every team does during training camp. Now, you don't have to be incendiary like Sean Payton was out in Denver, completely throwing the old regime under the bus. But you also basically are allowed to say whatever you want during training camp. As long as you know, you're know you not swearing or whatever and your owner's okay with it, you're cool to do what you want. And that is true with spin control on injuries. It can be like the NHL playoffs. It can be lower body injury. It can be not even something we're going to talk about or whatever. The only exception to this is head trauma. But given the fact that they're not even in pads yet, and Deontay's clearly was a lower body thing, uh, that doesn't come into play. So with that being said, was it cramps? Totally possible. Um, like I said, it was well into the 90s here yesterday. And when we look at the, the ramifications of this moving forward, it might be as little as nothing, and it also could be Tomlin doing this moving forward, giving De uh, Deontay veteran time off. He is the oldest skilled player on the roster, after all. So giving some looks at some other guys, seeing what Austin looks like in the system makes a whole lot of sense from that standpoint. So I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of time on Johnson missing time early here in practice. Because um, he even did try to come back in that same practice, according to Lolly, and they just shut him down. So it's not something that we really need to to worry about and and, and make a big deal about. Um, I still do think that the Burrow thing is a much bigger issue, but when that's all said and done, that might end up being nothing as well. So that's one of the things to look out for that happened in training camp yesterday. Hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy camp today. If you guys are going to Latrobe, it's going to be awesome, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.